Oh, you sound you sound great. It's just it's one of those things. I always think AirPods look like half smoked Marlboro Red sticking out of your ear. But anyway, he's got, he's got a lazy ear. He's got one like this. One. Yeah, lazy ear. He's got a lazy. He's got a lazy ear. I got a lazy <laughs> eye. <laughs> By the way, with the hotel Wi-Fi, real quick. Number one, if there's any bill, send it our way. We're we're super rich, so FT Live will cover it. Number two, Brzezinski. Uh, Brzezinski yeah, Brzezinski's super rich. got it. It's he's always got it. Check, <laughs> check out the career earnings for that bad boy. Number two, um, aren't you status? Because for me, like where you go to the hotels, if you're at you know one of the the chains, they they give you the free premium Wi-Fi. No, uh, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't look at it. He doesn't they probably set that give up. it to us in our. They probably give it to us in our like envelope or something. Like when we get our keys. But I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna pay for it right now. We'll be fine. You're a boss. You yeah, know what? A boss move. You know what? At the Park 55 in San Francisco, where they're at, I don't even know if they have Wi-Fi anymore because they, if they've cut back so much on the cost. It's, you know, they're, they're... Park 55. Remember? Did you not stay in there? Oh, you... right. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> That's where all the teams used to stay, and we used to go at the Park 55. We had a tradition when I was at the White Sox. There was a Carl's Jr. across the street. So whatever time we get in, if it was like. Noon, three o'clock in the morning. All, me and Canerco would always go to Carl's Jr. and we'd buy the homeless people in the Carl's Jr. F- m- meals. And so that it would be like twenty of them. We'd just be like, okay, we're buying the whole homeless crew meals, and we'd get them all meals and go back to the Park Fifty Five and get fat. I love it. I love that. Yeah, no, we're not at the Park Fifty Five, but that sounds like a that sounds like a fun story. That would be fun to the, do. We always stayed at the Nico, but you got you can find some in San Francisco or. You know, you can find some homeless people everywhere. So you need to be buying because it's Grimace's birthday. You can need yep. to be buying everybody some milkshakes. Grimace from everybody. McDonald's. Everybody gets milkshakes today. Everybody, do it. Have Good it done. Words. Record it. Send it to us. Hey Jose, what's up uh, with your boy Judge? Have you spoken to him? We we know we got the reports this week and whatever. We're not going to get into the injury. That's you're not going to give us an injury update. I want to know more just about how how he's feeling because. He's the captain. He loves to be out there. So the mental aspect of missing time. I mean, you just missed time. Not significant. But how much this is probably killing him to not be on the field every day. Yeah, no, I don't I don't want to speak for him. But, like, when I was missing time or anybody that, you know, loves this game or loves to play this game, anytime I miss time, you know, it, it sucks. I don't want to miss any time. I like to play. I love to play the game. Uh, I love being out there. So, you know, I can I can only imagine what he's thinking, but um, for the most part, he looks good. He's doing good, um, and you know, whenever he's ready, he's ready. Of course, he looks good. He always looks good. He looks good whether his toe hurts or not. But so, oh, yeah. are you? I always ask this to everybody because I felt like it was something that I struggled with. Are you a worse teammate and dad when you're hurt or when you're struggling at the plate? <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Probably hurt. Probably hurt. You just want to play because you just want to play. That's all you want to do is play. So probably, probably when I'm hurt. Jose uh, Kratz said earlier, why don't you you tell him what he should be doing while Aaron's out? Oh yeah, we were talking about like judges out and you know your offense. Everyone, you know, same same rhetoric's always offense. I really think it should be between you and Higgy. You should pick up Judge's offense from now on. Like, I told <laughs> Bregman came on. He had no stolen bases that night. Bad. You and Higgy need to get together. You guys need to do your handshake, whatever it is. <laughs> like, you know, sleepy, like high five and just whatever your handshake is. And you guys need to pick up his offense. All right? So June got it. June 28th till the All-Star break. Okay? Oh, yeah. You guys will got, get like the All-Star weeks, break off this year. Like You're that. not going for your All-Star tour this year. Sorry to break it. You didn't get enough votes this year. <laughs> but you guys need to pick it up. You and Higgy. Are you, t- are you, are you telling us or are you asking us? Oh, I'm telling you. This is – I'm I older than Higgy. Me. I don't know if you I'm got, older than you. You got, any, you got any tips for me? Yes. Hit what dings. What <laughs> and not the team. He's just talking about you. He was like, he was just like, you. my catchers need to pick it up right now and and pick up uh, all of Judge's homers. It's time. Yeah, we'll de- we'll definitely we'll definitely try that. We'll see if we can hit uh, <laughs> thirty home runs in two weeks. That'll be that'll be sick. Yeah, right. you what, fifteen. Hey, if you do that, you'll be in the All Star game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll vote, absolutely, I'll vote you in. No, 
no, no, that, that, I don't, I don't know if that'll happen. I think the voting by that time will be, you know. Yeah, but you know what'll happen. You know what'll happen. Some guy will miraculously get hurt, and you'll make the team <laughs> by by forfeit. I promise. If you hit 15 homers in two weeks, you'll be in Seattle. You might be in the, <laughs> be in the home, be in the in the home run, run derby. derby. Yeah, it'd be in the home run derby. That would be crazy. Man, you'd be getting tired. Don't be doing that, Jose. Don't be doing yeah, that. No, I know no, no, no. It's a, it's, it's a marathon. It's a marathon. Hey, hey, you guys don't have – hey, you also told us you were coming up with a home run celebration. What, Judge got hurt and that went out the window? You, got, you guys could do like a, a big toe thing or oh, something. Oh, man, we, we, weren't even, we weren't even coming up with anything. We don't do any of that. Come on. We just hit the home run, we score the run, and then we go. Uh, go play defense. What do you mean? What do you mean Stanton has the, the whole football thing? You guys all have your own yeah, little – you know, cool. Judge puts his hand up and you guys all have to jump up to it. I mean, there's a, there's yeah. you guys got some skits going on, just not a team skit. We got we got we got some things. We got some things that the camera doesn't see. That's what it is. You got to come to a game. You got to come to Oakland tonight, AJ. Come to Oakland tonight. Sit in the stands. Hey, That'll be a good one. I'll be the only person there. <laughs> <laughs> He'll catch your home run ball. There. It was, it was, it was there. actually it was actually packed last night. There was, there was a couple, there was a few fans here last night. Hey, I was so supposed to come to a bad. game when you guys you guys played the White Sox, but you guys chickened out because the air quality was too bad. So I was actually on, yeah. supposed to be there. Wow. I was in New yeah. York coming to the game, and the damn sky was orange. So you guys were like, oh, we, we're soft now. We can't play. Those players are That was soft. nuts. I actually played a game in high desert where uh, ashes were, like, falling on my jersey. And then the next day they canceled it. But I, re- I remember in the California League playing in a game where the ashes were, like, falling on my jersey. And I'm like, this can't be good. No. And you played the whole game? Yeah, we played the whole game. We were playing against Lancaster. We were in Lancaster. I still remember. And then the next day, I think they canceled. They were like, "Yeah, that that was that was really bad yesterday." So, let's uh, yeah, let's not do that. That's how minor leagues. That's how minor leagues slowly kills you inside. Like it slowly, <laughs> it just takes parts of your soul, and like you're <laughs> eating at Perkins restaurants, and you know the only grace, of, the only saving grace of the minor leagues is you get to eat at Waffle House and nobody judges you. Like, you're eating Waffle House all the time, oh. any time of day. I remember we had a we had a nice Waffle House in uh, in Hickory, North Carolina. Mm-hmm. I, didn't go, I didn't go there as much. They had a – dang, what was the name of that place? Uh, takeout, Cracker maybe? Barrel. No, no, no. Is it called Takeout in the north – in the east, uh, oh, oh, no, I'm not, I'm not remembering what it's called. Dude, I don't know if it's South. called takeout or something, but that's where people would go. That's where, that's where everybody would go. They'd go there. Yeah, I don't know. Cracker so, Barrel's in the south. You know, we can't. Let's not get that confused. Wait, Cracker I'm, Barrel's down south. I want to circle back just for one more sec to the Homer celebration. Cause yeah, you guys have a lot going on. Do you? like that other teams do that because what now i would say at least three quarters of the league has, has the whole skit running with props and you know it's like saying yeah, it's, cool. it's it's do you like yeah, it's it cool. yeah yeah so whatever i mean whatever they feel like they they want to do i think it's cool like if someone can do that like they i, I heard that uh i was talking to kyle gibson and he told me how they kind of came up with their celebration stuff and and all that so it was it's pretty cool how guys are kind of like you know rolling into it and being like all right but i think i think the big thing about this is like you can't like force it you know you can't force it it just kind of has to like happen so you can't be like hey this is what we're doing no it just kind of has to like you know happen i want judge to come up with it the home run celebration yeah man judge (laughs) judge is he's so perfect you can't be coming up what i need you to work on is Giancarlo's bat flip. Is it sneaky, the worst bat flip in the game? <laughs> He's Which so one? perfect. G, just go back and watch. When Next game you're not playing and you're done your film, go back and watch all of G's bat flips. And you'll be like, man, you got such big muscles, but your bat, fl- your bat flips are weird. Like he's got he's – I, like he I like when he grabs the barrel. Smokes one, grabs the barrel, throws it. I like that. I like it's, that. Okay, you like that? All right. All right, yeah, I like fair. that. I like that one. I like I like that one. I like that one. I I'm usually not worried about his bat flips. I'm usually worried about like how far the ball's going. So I'm okay, afraid so that it's going it. to destroy something out there. So I'm like, oh, I need to go back and watch that replay. That's fair. Hey, Jose, um, Ian Hamilton coming back tonight. How excited are you? And do you love the word Slambio as much as many Yankee fans? Sick. 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, it's pretty cool. Uh, the, actually, the first uh, Slambio I've ever caught Slambio. was uh, Jose Leclerc. Um, that was the first guy that I caught with the Slambio. But, yeah, Ian's got a nasty one. It'll be a good addition to our bullpen, you know, who's already doing well. He's jacked, too. Is he too jacked to be a pitcher? Oh, yeah, he's jacked. Yeah, he's jacked. Is he jacked. too jacked he's to be a dude. pitcher, though? Like, some pitchers, no, you no. need a little, like, mass equals gas kind of thing. Like, you need a little bear claws. No. No, no, no. He's he's a physical dude. He's 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 jacked. He's a big dude. So the Slambio is it is it just a is it just a pull changeup? But if he gives a home run, <laughs> no. like I don't know. Like at first, people were still throwing up changeup on the board when they would like when he would throw it. But now it's starting to like show like slider, and sometimes it'll show changeup. Um, I think one time it might have shown like a cutter. So. I don't know, whatever camera or computer they got going up there, it's like, you know, picking up different kind of things. But like it's it's pretty it's it's pretty nasty. It's pretty nasty. And he's got velo too, you know, he's got a good fastball, so all yeah, that no, mixed does. in, it's it's pretty good. Yeah, everybody does. Speaking of nasty, since you're breaking all these uh injury reports for us, the New York Yankees, uh <laughs> when's Rodon coming back? Um, I don't know. What have you heard? Uh, you're the <laughs> You're our insider here on the Yankees, so we're we we're counting got, on you I to give no, us the exact date and time when he's going to pitch again. I don't know. I've got no inside information. I just know that he's uh, he's feeling good. Okay. And then, did you get to catch uh, Wembenyama's first pitch? You did, right? That way you have your Spurs I, I did, shirt on. I did it. I did not get to catch it, um, but I got to talk to him and meet him. I, was it King? No, Schmidt. <laughs> Schmidt got Schmidt got piece to talk. Schmidt? Uh, got oh, to piece catch. of Schmidt. He didn't yeah. even catch it. He sucks. Yeah, well, the, well, the throw wasn't too great. And he uh, said, whatever. And he's, he, as long was, as he can shoot it and make it in the hoop, I don't care how he throws it. So, hey, was he standing on the steps next to you, or you just <laughs> dude, Ken Rosenthal? How like? big? How big is that dude? He's, I mean, dude, massive. He's huge. Like real, like, hey, like he's looking over that where that Merrill Lynch thing is, like over the dugout where Brett Gardner used to hit the top of the dugout. <laughs> he's like looking over. And like, with ease, I couldn't believe it. He's he's a big dude. He's massive. See the biggest. See the biggest guy you've ever met. Yeah, for sure. What for about sure. his hands? I saw a picture of his hands huge with the baseball, no, and he like no. It so like check a- it out. So like when when he when I went to go shake his hand, you know how like you give like a like a regular handshake, like a regular human handshake would be like <laughs> you know, two hands. Yo, he knew that my hand wasn't gonna fit that. That big handshake, he like grabbed it like this, like he grabbed it like, like that. <laughs> but he's he's super skinny, right? Like, who wins? No, 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 no. Rumble? He, he, no. Him, we're Judge, or Stan? We're not gonna get started on that. We're not gonna get started on the skinny stuff. He's fine. He's gonna be great. He's gonna be. Uh, no, no, no. I'm not talking about that. For oh, a bring a ton of championships to San Antonio. Fan. This is this is he's bringing it back. We're good. He's not skinny. He's perfect. He's just he's what perfect. we want. He's perfect. Is this a dating it's just app what or we want. interview? Both. He's <laughs> Wait, perfect. I'm not knocking that. And also, there's a ton of skinny dudes. I mean, Ke- Kevin Durant's super skinny when you, when you meet him. No, I'm not talking. For basketball, you could be skinny. I'm saying Royal Rumble, he's in there. Giancarlo's in there. Judge is in there. Who wins? Oh, dang. Come on. Uh, that's going to be a tough one. Between G, between G and Judge, those, that's going to be a battle. That'd be a good. That'd be a good uh, wrestling match. It'd be a good yeah. wrestling Victor's, match. Victor's just stepping over the ring. He doesn't have to go under the rope. He has to step over. And <laughs> yeah. He's out. Like he's not even yeah. trying. Yeah. No. He's gonna. He's gonna run around for a little bit, but they'll definitely. They'll toss him out. They'll, they'll toss him out. They'll just throw they'll him, out. him out. I mean, yeah. they're significantly yeah. more jacked than him. I mean, he's got yeah. serious he's like, size on him, on them. But serious like, height. He can be on one end of the ring and just like he, he can <laughs> just hold the shot. head. He can just hold his head. <laughs> We're gonna be going Dude, like his, this. No. His his hands were, were were massive, dude. Like that's one thing I was like, dude, this dude is huge. He's a big dude. Like I think whenever you meet somebody like that, you're like, that's a lot bigger than what you look like on TV too. So he's big. He's a big dude, and he's gonna bring a lot of championships to uh, San Antonio. And he's like two twenty. He's not like he's like two hundred twenty pounds. So he's only got mm-hmm. like I think I think G's probably like two sixty to sixty five and. Judge is whatever I gotta wants to be. Check the board. I gotta Two. check. I gotta check the board tonight to see that. But that's a good. Uh, 
that's a that's a good yeah that's around a good range is that when, any... you're, when you're seven foot seven at 220 that's a different set than six foot seven at 220 well, yeah whatever seven yeah foot, it is but it's still way I mean, you had weight class yeah but you had him and then you had jose like dude way down there like it was it looked like he, he, did, was, yo, he was he was sit, he was sitting down and we were like face to face is that weird like, is that dude, weird <laughs> Did you feel? Yeah, like? that's weird. What do you mean? That's not normal. I don't see especially that. Especially when he, especially when he short handshakes you, like like you're a teacup. Yeah, he, like. no, he he definitely he definitely short handshake me. I was like, yeah, you, <laughs> you yeah, you got good feel for that because that wasn't fitting. Like we weren't going to get that done. That wouldn't have been. Hey, was good. it like a, Was it like the old? Like if you've ever been over to to Britain and they're like, oh, kiss my kiss my hand, to ladies. It was, was dude. It, it was it was it was like, like this. No, 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 not like that. It was like to the side, to the side. Like, because nothing's like more that. awkward. Nothing's more he awkward, knew. though. Yes, kiss the ring. Nothing's more yeah. awkward, <laughs> though, when you go to shake someone's hand and they don't give you, I can't do it because I'm like, they don't give you their hand. They like, that's give what you I the, was expecting. They give you like, AJ, the half. that's what I was expecting. It's so I was awkward. expecting that. I hate that. And he, and he just, he was like, I, he's like, I, I know this isn't going to work out for you. Let me just <laughs> save this. And he just, you know, grabbed it and was like, Nice to meet you. And I was like, yo. And then I saw the I saw the baseball in his hand and I'm like, this guy would have a nasty splitter. <laughs> what <laughs> that would be an unbelievable splitter. What do you think he could learn first? Do you think he could steal a base off of you first? Or nah. he could get a pitch by you? Oh, he'd steal a base first. He wouldn't be, I don't I don't by the by the looks of the throw, it was like ah. But the but the the length. Everybody's everybody's talking about like he's got to get up and down the court. That's gonna be wear and tear, all that stuff. And I'm like, dude, he's gonna take three steps and be under the basket. <laughs> like, what do you mean? It's not as much wear and tear as y'all think. So, I'm I'm here defending him. I have to defend him here. You know, for all yeah, but you're you're in a safe space, Yankees. Jose. You're yeah. in a safe space. Like, I I think he's gonna be yeah. incredible. I've I've seen plenty of highlights. He can handle the rock. I mean, we're talking about how huge he is, and he, he's yeah, he essentially dribble. a point guard. Wait, why? Yeah. Why do you feel like you have to defend him? Are you seeing? Because I'm, I'm not. I'm a big basketball guy, but nowadays with what we've got going on, I do not have Oof. much time to pay attention to NBA. Are there a lot of haters and trolls right now saying that he's overrated? There's a lot of haters and trolls that aren't in the game, and I think AJ and Kratzy know this. When you get, um, when you get recognized by your peers, I think that's better than getting recognized by the public. So like he's getting recognized by his peers, but the public is like, you know, he's 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 too small. He's not gonna last. All that kind of stuff. So um, who wins? But I, I think wins a, I think he'll be fine. Who wins the championship first, Victor or Jose? Me. Me. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Better yeah, be Jose. Me, me for sure. He he yeah. he's he's got a he's got some learning to do. It's gonna be a couple. I think he's going to win Rookie of the Year. He's going to do everything possible. He's going to do everything great. Uh, but I think the Spurs are like, for sure, at least a year away from being dominant. There's cap space. There's there's picks. There's trades. We got Spurs it all. Fans. San Antonio back on the map. And he's got time. He's young as hell. Um, one more on on the uh, the Royal Rumble. That's never going to happen. But have you ever seen? huge teammates wrestle not like real fight like where they're just both huge so i bring this up because this got a lot of play maybe a month and a half ago michael lorenzen you've seen he's super uh-huh. jacked and apparently yeah, he, said big he, dude. he never he never even does uh bicep bicep curls. Curls. he's like can't wait to do that after i retire i'm like dude tragic he's on. doing them there are there are yeah. tanks on each side yeah. and him and amir garrett were like yo when they were on the same team they were like let's try this out and he basically said garrett had him um, have you ever seen anything of that magnitude? Obviously, I'm assuming Judge and Stanton aren't the playful type to be like, hey, let's wrestle. No, but I'd, I'd definitely put Tommy Canely in that mix. Mm. Uh, yo, Rodon's kind of a big dude, too. So I, I don't know. Like, I would put Tommy Canely in there because Tommy's a kind of jack dude. Like, and he likes wrestling. So I think Andy's crazy. Tommy's Danny's a little crazy. So it would like <laughs> work out for him where he would be like, I don't care. Like, let's do it. I think me, me and Tommy are actually going to – we're planning a trip to go to a, a wrestling event this off season. So we're just going to go to a random place and show up and, and go watch the event. So, Like a yeah. WWE or a no, like yeah. backyard wrestling? No, no, no. Like WWE. Yeah. Oh, okay. 
Okay, yeah, not Kimbo Slice. What are you, what are you talking about? <laughs> like, uh, yeah. If you, need, if you need the hookup, I got the belts, okay? Just let me know. Really? Yeah. So Wait, AJ, okay, tell him. He doesn't know, though. Real quick, tell him. Dude, Google me, bro. I got belts for days, <laughs> yo. I mean, Raw. I mean, I got them all. TNA, ECW, WWE, no way. Spinner. Dude, come on, bro. I've been in that Jose, ring. Jose, get in the ring. Get in the I ring. Beat the, beat the crowd. Beat Wait, the who, you, who, are you in the, who are you in the Who are you in the ring with? You look like an NWO guy. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, you look. Oh hell, yeah! Guy, huh? yeah. Oh yeah. come on! Yeah, you look like a wolf pack guy for sure. Oh hell yeah! Love Back that. in the day when yeah. Hall and Nash came over. Oh yeah. Yes, yes. When I played in yes. Salt Lake, when I played in Salt Lake, every day I wore a red NWO shirt under my my jersey. I love that. Yeah, of course. I love that. Oh, That's please, hey, you're big enough. You're the Yankees All Star catcher. If you can do a cameo in the ring. I'm telling no, you. I don't, I don't AJ think, did I don't, it during his playing think. days. You don't even have to you don't have to scrap around. I know the Yankees yeah. freak out. Hey, back in the day we had TNA. When TNA was bigger, kind of what AEW has become now is like TNA was the AEW yeah. back in the day. We had the TNA dudes come to spring train, Ozzy Gee and beat the shit out of one of them with a chair. That's because awesome. he was you see the guy who I beat the year before, his name was Simon Diamond. Yeah. Huge Yankee fan, by the way. He, he in real life he is. He lives in Jersey, shocking. Uh, but I hit him over the head with a home plate, and we pinned him. And then the next year, he he acted like he snuck into our spring training. He came looking for us, and he was talking shit. And Ozzy Gein came up behind him and whacked him with a chair. Oh, By the way, it took so Ozzy cool. like three takes to hit him right because he kept he kept really? hitting rocks. He kept having to do it. So there's video of Ozzy Gein hitting this dude with the chair in the back, and it took three takes. By the way, because Ozzy couldn't do, get hit him right. He kept swinging yeah. and missing. <laughs> yeah, so it's good, dude. It's fun. And then I got, I, I love that. You know, I got to beat up. I don't know if you ever had Rick Eckstein as one of your coaches, but we got to beat him up. David Eckstein's brother. And, yeah, it was. It's <laughs> oh all. Oh my god. It's all fun. Yeah, I love let's that. Get, yeah, let's get back to something a little more serious though. Did you fix Volpe's stance? Because now, I mean, I picked this guy for rookie of the year. So whoever <laughs> fixed his stance, tell him thank you. He's hit. He's hitting in front of me, man. He's getting all the hits. Oh, he's all the hits. Yeah. Me. A lot of fastballs. Yeah, yeah, he protection. He the protection. No, he's uh. <laughs> No, man, he looks he looks good, especially last night. You know, three hit night. Uh, he's been hitting the ball hard. He's been hitting the ball really hard and having good at bats. So, um, as y'all know, man, it's just a matter of time and getting adjusted, dude. Like, this game is freaking hard, dude. And like, what pitchers are doing now, you know, scouting reports wise, defensive stuff. Like, you know, it's it, it's 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 tough. And I feel like he's starting to adjust. He's starting to get his feet under him. And I feel like he's about to take off, man. He looks really good. Uh, Nestor Cortez apparently pulled a one of one uh, Volpe rookie auto. And then oh, he's yeah. like, they were like, dude, that's sick. And he's like, he's got to produce. <laughs> yeah, I think that was, I, I thought that was, uh, that was a trash, trash article. I thought that was, that was, uh, you know, a little bit of clickbait there. You know, I, I didn't think that was, uh, obviously, Nestor didn't mean anything from it, you know. So I think that was, uh, I think that was a bad take. I think it was a bad take because I think he was – obviously, he was just kidding around. Uh, but, of course. You know, for after, like, that's – you know how that is, man. It's, in, it's New York, so anything like that's going to get blown up, and it's like, come on, man, that's not cool. So, um, obviously, Nestor didn't mean it. Uh, but, yeah, Volp, one of one card, that, that stuff is hot. Yeah, I nice. didn't even think, dude. I, I yeah. first of all, I didn't read the article. Second of all, I just saw the tweet and I laughed. I thought he was kidding. Yeah. Like, obviously, it, it's sarcasm. Yeah, like, yo, got to get well, it done. Not, not, I, I would not say many that about know sarcasm. Not many <laughs> people know sarcasm now. Yeah. I very, love sarcasm. Very <laughs> sensitive world. Uh, I, I've got one more for you to finish. Just you played with Aaron Hicks for a while. He's crushing it with Baltimore. Do you see yeah, that? Man. And you're like, let's go, because you saw him go through shit personally, right? When you're yeah, on the yeah, team yeah. and you're not performing well. And now you see him do well elsewhere. Obviously, you know, it's on the Orioles, so you're going to have to yeah. be careful because you guys are going to play him. But Yeah. No, man, it's it's good for Hicksy, man. I've, I've known Hicksy. Hicksy's been cool with me ever since I came and, you know, uh, was in New York. So, you know, any I, I think I don't I don't really root against anybody in baseball, man, just because I know how hard this game is. So, like, any anytime anything happens to somebody good, you know, that's my friend or that, you know, uh, you know, that I – that I have a friendship with you know that's good and I, I don't I don't there's nothing where I'm like no I don't wish him any success like no nah, man that's not that's not how it is this game's way too hard to to wish bad upon anybody else because that stuff is those baseball gods are hearing and they can come back to you and get you so 
you know, I, I'm happy for Hicksy. Uh, he looks happy. He looks like he's playing well. So um, it's good for him. Yeah, I mean, some people are like, oh, he's not going to play anymore. No, he's good. He's fine. Let him go. Let him go. You know, he's, he's in the frat. He's hey, good. Jose, good good shit, man. Do your thing, um, and we'll yeah. catch you in a few weeks, all right? Thank you, guys. We'll see you. Appreciate you.